So hello everyone, so uh, welcome to the continuation of our Figma projects. Okay, so uh, you notice that our icon here is too close to the edge. So I'm going to click on it. Let me uh, move it to start somewhere here. Okay, this okay. Control plus, let me zoom in. So I wanted to start at the edge of this somewhere here. Okay, so the center is at the edge of it, of this. Okay. So, uh, let's see something and how you can rectify it. Okay, so let me zoom out. Now, if we should um, pay close attention to this. Okay, when I stretch, you can see, okay, when I'm trying to stretch the canvas or the frame, you would notice that it's uh, stretching the icons too. Okay, so to avoid that error, okay, you can hold control that's for windows i don't know the shortcut key for mac okay so control on your keyboard and then stretch okay your canvas so that you can be able to scroll okay so you want to be able to achieve the scrollable like our uh, or just be able to scroll okay so remember to use control when you are trying to do such effects so what i'm going to do now is just to highlight this control c control v or you can just use Control D. Okay, and I'm going to bring it down. So let's leave it at 39, and then I'll do Control D again. I'll bring it down. Okay, so it was what 39. With 39. Okay. Now when I do Control D. I should have it. Okay, so I've already done some control D, so oops, undo. Okay, so control D, then I'll bring it down. That's a nine. Okay, so let me just bring this up. Okay, so remember I'm going to hold the control and then I'm going to take it up. So what next to do is just to change the colors. So let me just zoom in. Just going to change the colors. Okay. And then the icons <clears throat> we already have um gone done we've already done something in loti how to do that so when i click this okay i can go to loti sorry yeah right click plugins and then choose loti files let's wait for it to load once once it's downloading let me just choose any so i'll just click this and then i'll convert to gif okay then I'm going to add it to Figma. Okay. So when I added it, you see it took the shape. Okay, it took the shape of um, um, this icon, this Luti when it was here. Okay, okay. So we don't need to worry ourselves trying to resize and everything. Okay. So uh, that should be it for this. And then the rest we are just going to duplicate. Okay, so I can just take this out delete um, just control c control v8 and then bring it here okay so then we'll do same for the others so control c control v and i'll bring it let me delete this then bring it here okay so that should be it for the last loot file we have here so just align them well okay with the help of the guidelines or rulers or guidelines yeah so you can change the text here to exercise or yoga whatever exercise here to shopping whatever you want here to studies or coding i remember typing code code exercise what happened control z so Code exercise, maybe coding exercise. Okay, this one, let me do this donations. Okay, this one, walk or pet, let's do pet walk. 
okay so we are going to so we have that for our progress we have that for our progress so all we have to do is just change this and its color so this is going to be uh, let's do overdue Then we'll change, we'll change its color. Okay, so I'm going to give it this color value. Okay, this color value, and then we'll do same for this. Okay, so we just want some consistency so that um, our user, when the user sees this color, he knows that it's an overdue um, activity. Okay. okay, so just as this represents in progress, okay, this should represent overdue, and then the remaining two would we'll give it a green color. Okay, so this color value, and I'm going to, so our green uh, will be called completed, completed. Then we'll change here to, to green. Okay, so this is just a quick project. Okay, it's a quick project. So uh, we would need to align them. So let me select this and then this multi-select. Then I'm going to align them with the help of this. Okay, so they are well aligned. So we'll do that for all the other ones. Okay, so multi-select, then align them with the help of the alignment tool. So align vertical centers. Okay. Okay, so I'm done aligning the icons and then the text here. And then I can change here now to, um, let me change this. And then so let me multi select the two and then by holding shift and then selecting them and i'm going to give them a green color so a quick way to do that and i'm going to change it to completed okay so let's see what we have uh this okay so this icon okay the switch icon uh was gotten um i gave it a shadow so a drop shadow of four and then a blur of six okay and then uh, it's a Luti icon. Sorry, it's an Iconify icon that I picked from Iconify. <laughs> Seems like I'm rhyming. <laughs> okay, so I'll click on this and then I'm going to preview it with the play button. Okay, it should open a window and then load the interface for us. Okay, so when I try previewing it, um, our main lesson isn't showing. Okay, I don't see why it's not showing. So let's preview this instead and see what happens. So now this works okay so when i scroll you can see it's scrollable okay and then that should be it for our project so thank you and i'll see you in the next lesson thank you